Bible, it says in verse 6, when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door catch the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shone or shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. Every chain will fall off in Jesus' name. Because of a united congregation, a united assembly, a united church, praying unto the Lord with the unity of faith, united and immovable in their conviction and then he tells us in verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind on thy sandals and and so he did and he says unto him cast thy garments about thee and follow me and he went out and followed him and wist not, he knew not that it was true, which was done by the angel. But thought he saw a vision when they came, when they were past the first and the second watch, they came unto the iron gate and that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord, automatic automatic miracle i said automatic miracle and those automatic miracles will continue in our midst in jesus name and they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed from him and when peter was come to himself he said now i know of a truth of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. That's what the Lord will do when we're so united together. That's the unity the Lord is calling us to. And when that unity is there, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of the living God in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 16, and I'm reading from verse 18. Matthew chapter 16. We're reading from verse 18 in Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 this is the word of the Lord is said and I say unto also unto thee that thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church the church of the living God is built upon the rock upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The gates of hell will not prevail against this immovable congregation in Jesus' name. Are you there? I said the gates of hell shall not prevail against this immovable congregation in Jesus' name. The Lord has left an open door before us. And this open door will open into miracles and wonders more and more in Jesus' name. But the Lord is said, be faithful, be faithful. And be united, united in heart, united in mind, united in vision, united in passion, united in goal, united on the word of God, united on the doctrines of the Bible, united in consecration, united in commitment to the Lord now and forever and then the power of the Lord will continue in the midst of the people of God in Jesus name we're looking at Revelation chapter 2 Revelation chapter 2 and I'm reading here from verse 8 Revelation chapter 2 verse 8 it says unto the angel of the church is man arise these things says the first and the last which was dead and is alive I know thy wars and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. We're rich in Jesus' name. I said, we're rich in Jesus' name. And then he says, and I know the blasphemy of 
them which say they are Jews and they are not, but of the synagogue of Satan. Fear not those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that she may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give unto you the crown of life. A crown of life is waiting for us in Jesus' name. He that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Anybody having ears to hear today? I said anybody having ears to hear today? I can see anybody there having ears to hear today. We have heard, and we're going to keep to the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. The Lord has called us to a kind of unity, unbreakable, indivisible, immovable, and settled forever. And I pray that this unity of the Lord will re retain in the church of the living God in Jesus' name. We have been over here this weekend of seeing what the Lord has done. And we are praying that this good thing the Lord has started will continue with us in Jesus' name. On the basis that we remain united in the word of God that changes not God does not change Jesus does not change the Holy Ghost does not change the Bible does not change and the requirement the condition for getting to heaven does not change and the church of the living God true and faithful will not change we are going to abide in this world forever and ever give me a good amen over there we're going to rise up and pray now. Recommit ourselves to the Lord. Recommit ourselves to the Lord. We're going to stand on the word of God. And this unity will continue abiding with us forever in Jesus' name. United in salvation. United in sanctification. United in the doctrines of the word of God. United in the life that a believer ought to live. United in a purpose and goal and passion and great commission. United in going to heaven. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer and say thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. We're going to be united. Remain united on the word of the living God. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. This is the most important time the most important time we need to be united in the word of God I want to hear you pray I want to hear you pray because this is what will move every mountain out of your life out of your family out of the church of the living God unity 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 in faith and unity in salvation unity in doctrine unity in vision unity in mind unity in our soul unity in everything that we do unity united together Passionate together, united, 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 united on the word of the living God. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the Lord in prayer and let this unity pass through every vein, your blood system, your mind, your soul, every part of you, every part of you, every part of you, united. Don't forget your goal of getting saved is to get to heaven. Don't forget your goal of coming to Christ is so that we can get to heaven. Don't forget your goal of committing yourself to the Lord is so we can get to heaven. It's not, it's not so we can have picnic and play. It's not so that we can have our own way, it's to have his way. It's a narrow way that leads to heaven, that leads to glory. Tell the Lord, if you're born again, Lord, I want to remain born again, remain saved. You're sanctified, I want to remain sanctified. And you are committed to the word of God, I want to remain committed to the word of God. Tell the Lord, Lord, I will stand, stand on this word, immovable, unwavering Christian, unspotted conqueror, and part of the immovable congregation, united with the congregation of the people that have their goal as heaven. Their mind set on things on high. And the unity of righteous people, the unity of sanctified people, is the unity of holy people, is the unity 
of Zechariah and Elizabeth. The unity of Mordecai and Esther is the unity of Naomi and Ruth, is the unity of Caleb and Joshua, the unity of Paul and Silas, is the unity of Elijah and Elisha. Based on the word, based on holiness, based on righteousness, based on consecration, based on commitment to the word, commitment to the word. In every situation of life, Keep standing on the word. Keep believing the word. Keep honoring the word. My heart is fixed, O oh God, my heart is fixed, fixed in your heart, settled in your soul, dedicated to the Lord, committed, not changing like a chameleon, neither here nor there. Now going back to the broad road, the broad way that leads to perdition. Recommit yourself to the Lord. Reconsecrate yourself to the Lord. Reaffirm your consecration to the Lord. You've not reached the end of the road yet. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm. On the word. On the truth. On the doctrines of the Bible. Firm. Immovable. Unshakable, settled, committed ever. Let the Lord know about your commitment. Let the Lord know about your renewed consecration. A Christian, a sage, not a traditional church goer, nominal church goer, a sage. 
new creature in Christ new life new language new commitment new consecration abiding in this unchanging word of the living God make up your mind bear your cross stand on the world Meaning the truth, united with the people who uphold the truth all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, We're going to pray. Why don't you raise up your hands? A commitment to the Lord, I surrender all, I surrender all, all to Jesus, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. The Lord is not interested in those who just pick his gift, and they're not interested in the giver. They're not interested in the sanctifier. They're not interested in going to heaven. He wants you to love him with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. You enjoy his gift and you commit yourself more and more unto the giver. I surrender all. I surrender all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Your heart your life, your mind, your will, your past, your present, your future, I surrender all. In obedience to the Lord, in humility and submission, everything I am, everything I was, everything I will ever be, I surrender all. Everything I've got, everything I'm having, everything I've ever obtained, I ever possess, I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. It is those who are united like that and committed like that, those are the people that the blessings of God will come. And then when we pray in unity of faith, the Lord will grant to us explosion of his power that explosion will continue in our lives in Jesus name and this church will remain united on the truth until Jesus comes again in Jesus name father in the name of Jesus we thank you and bless you at this time. Oh Lord, we're looking up to you at this time. And we're asking, oh Lord, this unity of faith will forever be in the midst of your people. In Jesus' name. Give us one heart.